If it can happen to me, I think it can happen to you. I've said that over and over again. Last night at 1130, my wife and I got home after a 40 hour whirlwind in northwestern Minnesota, visiting some seven different cities and providing support for Dr. Jeff Horick, a surgeon who was fired because he spoke at a school board meeting in favor of allowing masks to be optional for kids. So last night I get home and I open up the mail and for the fifth time my letter, my medical license is being investigated. This time there are a half a dozen complaints. I am problematic because I called for civil disobedience in regards to the press conference that President Biden issued on September 9th that he never followed up on. He never certified that as an executive order, nor has he given to OSHA their instructions by which they can make rules to determine how to implement what he said he wanted to happen in a press conference. So what we have is a press conference. So it's a problem for me. It's alleged that I'm not vaccinated and I'm not. I've been very clear about that. I have a plethora of antibodies because I recovered from COVID. I'm inappropriately recommending against children wearing masks in schools. Last I checked, school boards are making those decisions. I have my opinion and I'm entitled to those. I'm politicizing public health, really. What about Mike Osterholm and Tony Fauci who say, don't wear masks, don't wear masks, don't wear masks, and then all of a sudden they get religion and wear masks. We have 19 years of data that says masks don't do the job. I was quoted as saying, I have said that. And the fact of the matter is from 2000 to 2020, we thought that masks didn't help, but now evidently they do. I've been telling followers that hospitals and doctors are falsifying death certificates. I've never said that. It's alleged that I've promoted the use of ivermectin. That's a decision between a patient and a doctor. And I think Joe Rogan might have weighed in on that. And I hear that there are several hundred members of Congress that may have also benefited from, from ivermectin. And I'm inappropriately promoting the benefits of natural immunity. Inappropriately promoting the benefits of natural immunity. Okay, so I'm going to be responding to this complaint, these complaints. I looked at my wife this morning and I said, sweetheart, I am sorry I'm putting you through this. She said, there's nothing to be sorry for. For my wife and I, the worst transgression that we can make is if we wanted to turn back. We're not going to turn back. I get to run for office if I choose. And people who want to politically weaponize the board of medical practice, have at it. I can't stop you. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. If it can happen to me, I think it can happen to you. Think about it.